Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And when we last left off, we were exploring these uh, floating catacombs. So let's continue doing just that, shall we? We've still got the uh, left side to explore, and we've got a lot of bloody blood skeletons, which, you know, these guys really suck. There's something that's just not satisfying about them. I wish we could destroy them, but you know, I suppose it's not really the only enemy in this game so far to give us a serious case of the blue balls. Now you are just a standard skeleton, especially how satisfying they are when they indeed do die. All right. Anyway, enough of my whining. Let's begin the slaughter and plundering of this fertile ground. Oh, hello. I forgot about all these guys. Like, I just... Uh, man, it's just all this experience is just left on the table. Now, I know, you know, the most we're going to get for killing a skeleton these days is 1 XP. But god damn it, that's my 1 XP. And wow, that went wrong. That really went wrong, didn't it? But that's okay. Sometimes things go wrong. Okay, so now we're back. Um, all right. Now, do we want the Bible? We do not want the Bible. No, thank you. I like a weapon that I can really reach out and touch people with, you know? And all, the, all you can really do with the Bible is reach out and irritate people with it. We're not here to irritate enemies, we're here to dispatch them. Uh, apart from her, because she's just a annoying enemy to fight, so she can go kiss my ass. That's what we want, we want spike breaker. Now, if we come down here, there's a couple of little things that we can find. I don't think there's anything like too extremely major and there's certainly no bosses or anything like that unfortunately but there are more blood skeletons and there are more of these witches as well still not 100% sure on the rub on how to kill these guys I think you literally just have to wait until they turn into cats. That's like the most efficient way of doing it. But you can see they've already like stripped away half of our health. But we can get some karma coins. And some resistances, I guess. Resistance potions, which, uh, I mean, they're not like super important. But the red bean bun. Well, I mean, health items, probably useless health items. But I'd rather have them than not have them. And lots more blood skeletons. God damn blood skeletons. Yep, even the holy water doesn't put them down permanently. That's fine. That is a okay. And we come all this way for an Alexa and a library card. Was that worth it? Well, dear viewer, honestly, no. No, it wasn't. But we did it anyway, just because we can. And now we've got to go back through all these damn stinking blood skeletons. God, I'd like to feed these things their own ass, honestly. I, I'm never a fan in a game where the enemies are just not satisfying to fight. And most of the enemies in this game feel really good and really fun uh, but them no not really but then I'm a bit like that with Zelda as well especially the modern Zeldas there's very little point in even fighting anything to be honest and she of course got the last laugh in because she is a bitch and hopefully, when we finally burn this castle, she's going to have a rather awful death. We can hope, right? Wow. We found ourselves an entire dollar. 
Whoa, she is really cooling down the pain. Whoa, we're dead. Really? Wow. I had no idea that those guys were so powerful. All right, I'll catch you guys back there in a second. Okay, so one thing I will say, only in this final and very late hour do I understand the potency of turning into the gas cloud. Oh my god, where was this thing? Like, when I was uh, experimenting off camera. And why have I only just now thought about using it? Um, let's just switch up to the spike breaker. Let's get up through here. And this gas cloud, oh man. Oh my. We can just do this. And we can even kill this bitch. Rather easily. Like everything is but wheat before the scythe. So, realizing this absolutely broken hidden ability, bearing in mind whilst we're doing this, we're invincible as well. Um, yeah, <laughs> I will meet you guys back on the other side. Just plowing the field, my friends. Plowing the field. Ah, life's simple when you use your brain. All right, so we are back. And uh, I've spent a little bit of time grinding these because I'm pretty sure we can get ourselves another cheeky level up. In fact, the next one should do it for us. Get us up to level 48. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, I could probably get us up to maybe level 50. Depends how much... I might, I'll do that off camera, obviously, depending on how much XP they're going to give us. Is it going to be worth it? Ah, uh, so they're giving us like 100, so it's going to take like 98 of these to kill to get to, yeah, uh, you know what, nah, not worth it. We need to find something a little bit stronger. However, I am enjoying how broken this ability is. It is absolutely disgusting in all the best ways. Very, very cool. The only thing is it does illustrate just how uh, long it takes your mana to replenish. Anyway, we have plundered the great uh, floating catacombs. So now we need to go back down and see if we can't find something else to destroy to get some levels. I do want to try and get, like, a, a healthy amount past level, say, 50. It would be nice if we can be approaching, like, level 60 or something like that by the time we're ready to go fight old Vladdy boy. Is that going to happen? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Oh, man. <laughs> like, the gas uh, or the mist ability was already pretty cool, but the fact that we can now damage enemies whilst we're in this mode and remain invincible and it's not as insignificant amount of damage that we're causing enemies either it's a pretty healthy amount and uh, i can just like fast forward the emulator to um get our mana back in a safe space so yeah this is this is pretty pretty broken not gonna lie uh, am i upset about this no no not really i'm quite happy with it actually Right, let's go take these guys out. Oh my god, I mean, these guys are basically just worms anyway. You know, they're not exactly any threat to us whatsoever, but it's that's still cool. It kind of renders the bat almost pointless. How much do we get from these? Yeah, one XP. So these guys are worthless in our pursuit for power. But that's okay. We'll find bigger fish to fry, I'm pretty sure, a little bit later on. Okay, now these rock guys, I bet they're worthless as well. Wow, they hurt, but yeah, they're worthless. So, let us go this way. 
Wow, these rock guys were once so mighty, so powerful. Did he just pull that rock out of his ass? That's impressive. Oh, good lord. Good freaking lord. This ability, man. Where has it been all of our lives? And of course, we can just completely exploit this as well. Oh, that's just delicious. And I bet all of that has given us, like, no XP. Uh, yeah, it's given us, like, 100. So, absolutely pointless, unfortunately. Now, I believe... Okay, so if it's not here... If not here, it's a little bit further on. There is another life upgrade around here somewhere. Get out of here, dude. Now, is it under here, mayhap? It could be. Let's go for a little adventure. And unfortunately, we can't use our abilities underwater. But that's okay. Because we have enough power to dispatch just about anything. There she is. Oh, it's not a life upgrade. It was a heart max. Which is fine. We like the heart maxes. There's also some shiitake mushrooms. That we can get. Which, I suppose, there's no point leaving them for the roaches. There's one. And these projectiles used to be quite bothersome. No longer. Now the mushroom. Now, do we want to go down here? Or do we want to go straight ahead first? Well, if we go through here... Uh, oh, one second, guys. Yeah, so, sorry about that. Uh, Mr. DPD man at the door. Now, we want to head up here. Because we are going to go fight another foe. Which uh, should satisfy us just a little bit. We're going to go deal with our old friend. Evening. Oh, you're just going to start off straight like that, are you? Don't make me get the gas cloud out, because I will. And you, sir, are going to have a bad time if I do. Ooh. You sneaky little sausage, you. That was not great, was it? Still, this guy isn't exactly too much to write home about. He is doing a not insignificant amount of damage to us, though. So, in the interest of not dying... Let's break out our old friend, Mr. Gas Cloud. We must have pretty much... Yeah, I was going to say, we've pretty much killed him anyway. And he's going to give us a life upgrade, because he's good like that. Thanks, mate. Anyway, let's continue. So, yeah, he wasn't exactly much to write home about. I'm not 100 sure if there's any... Ah, yes, there is a... Zerkron there, or Zucron, however you want to say that. Now, I... Th yeah. Ooh. Hello. Now, uh, wow, that guy didn't even really give us any XP. Bit rude, if you ask me. Now, how much XP do we get from these Dark Octopuses? And I am going to just increase the frame rate because, man. Yeah, we're getting nothing from these guys. Absolutely nothing at all. That, yeah, that was less than worthless fighting them. Still, we get ourselves a nice pot roast. And we can go back up here as well. Because I think there's something back up here? Or am I being mistaken? Nope, I think I'm mistaken. There's nothing back up here. That's cool. At eight. Well, we can use the power of fast forward. To kill, whoa, to kill these guys until we run out of mana, of course. But then, as we've discussed, they're not really worth fighting. But we'll do it. Have some Katamari later. 
Dark Octopus. They're actually, yeah, they are very weak, so I guess that's understandable. Anywho, we still... Ooh, evening. Nice to see you, friend. Hey, we've got some sushi from these guys. Huh, okay. Now, talking of sushi, is there... Anything that's worth putting on? Not really, I'll be honest. Uh, right, that's going to give us the best. Upgrade, I guess, for a little bit of armor. So we'll roll with that for now. Actually, talking of armor, if we take this... Ooh, if we put the walk armor on, we're actually starting to get somewhere close to some decent defense again. And there is the Dark Blade, which I believe is the opposite to the Holy Blade. Uh, it's fine, you know, but we're not that bothered about it. Anyway, let's get out of here. The only way we know how. Using the power of gas. I imagine uh, Shrek knows a thing or two about that. Why am I even thinking about Shrek? Ah, probably the Shrek pinball machine that we found. Now, there is also, there we go, another secret area to plunder. And we really don't want to be the wolf right now. Now in this area, we're going to find nothing too amazing, but stuff that's absolutely worth having anyway. So you're going to die. We kind of need our mana to come back, really. Nothing here. Right, where are we? Because there should be a few items that we could use. Ooh, that hurt. These werewolves, I think, are worth a somewhat considerable bit of experience. There we go. That's what we're looking for. The mana prism. Yeah, this walk armor is becoming kind of crazy with just how good it is. Bearing in mind all the negatives that we have um, assigned to us right now. So, ooh. Right, these guys. So we're on 92.38. Are these worth farming? Not really, no. They're worth like what? Five experience? Four experience? Alexa. It's a shame because they're kind of a cool enemy, really. But they're not worth our time. So we're not going to bother. To make sure we are exp getting all of the map. Yeah, we've got to come back anyway, so. That's fine. And jump, you fool! Alucard! All right, not bad. No, I really am retarded the way I hold this controller, I swear. Why haven't we got this bit back here? I swear there's just like some blocks that you just can't really get very efficiently. It could just be me being retarded, that's fine. I don't mind that, I expect that. I accept that. Now, was there anything here? I don't think so. Come on. Get down, you fool. We don't need to harvest up any hearts or anything, to be honest, because we're kind of sitting pretty when it comes to that. And here. We have the Force of Echo, which, going to be honest, I haven't tried that power. So, I don't know what that does. Let's see if we can't have a fiddle, if we can find some enemies to try it on. Does it do any damage? Run away! 
Run! No, I don't know what that does. I might need to look that one up. Okay, I think it does do damage. Not a huge amount of damage, but it does do damage. Ooh. You know, it's not bad, actually. Ooh, you son of a... No, 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 no. Oi! Right, enough of your shit. Okay, so yeah, it's just another attack that we can use. When we're playing as the bat, which is fine. Yeah, I don't know how we uncover some of these tiles, I'll be honest. But no matter. No matter. We don't need to uncover every single inch. We're just going to get as much as we possibly can. From what I can understand, uh, to actually get the 206%, you need to do some kind of glitch work anyway. Which we don't care about, I'm going to be honest. When you've got to glitch the game out to get the 100%. Yeah, I don't care about that. Gonna be honest. Now. Because it almost seems like we probably... Oh, you bitch. Excuse me. Alucard. Are we stun locked here? Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, it's because we're... Oh, this is going badly. It's going bad fast. Well, we're not going to have that. You can die. Thank you. It's going to stay as a gas cloud. Now, there is literally a save point <laughs> not that far away. So that's where we're heading. So as long as we don't do anything terminally stupid, which, well, the day is young. Um, we should be okay. Just going to drift around as this ominous stink cloud until we can find where we're going. Oh, I'm really annoyed with that map. Like, we tried to explore that. We really did. We're almost out of mana, but it doesn't matter, because here we are. Oof, and with that... All is right with the world once more. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.